Welcome to Sixes Overdrive. Today, guys, I'm gonna give you my opinion on which of the compact drones that just came out, the DJI Mavic Pro or the Hero Go Pro Karma. My opinion might be different than a lot of what you've heard out there. So let's get into it right away. I wanna make this quick for you because there's no sense in rambling on about this. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that if you're looking for a drone, just a drone, you don't care about anything else, that the DJI Mavic Pro is the better drone. No doubt about it. Technically, it's far superior than the Hero. Okay? So, uh, its biggest downfall is the fact that the camera is attached. Other than that, it has every feature the GoPro is missing, like the collision detection, uh, the landing detection. Uh, it's got way further range. It's got a better battery in it. I believe it's even fast. Uh, top speed, I think, is somewhere around 40 mile an hour. The thing rips, you can put it into sport mode, it's really fun. The Hero, however, its main advantage is the removable camera and the gimbal that comes with that, and the backpack, and all the mounts that you can do with it, okay? So why, is, why would you want all of that stuff that's in the GoPro instead of having this perfect drone? From everything I've understood about everybody who's reviewed the products, the Hero is very easy to just get in, click it together, and away you go. As is the Mavic Pro, but the Hero, the difference is, is when you're done taking that B-roll footage, because that's all drone photography is, it's B-roll footage to make your video tell the story a little bit more blingy, right? So you're not gonna use it near as much as you think you might. These things, notoriously, unless you're somebody like Casey Neistat, sit in a bag for 90% of their lives. They don't get out very much, you know what I'm saying? Whereas a Hero 5 camera gets out a lot. Uh, any of these action cameras by Hero, who is the industry leader in their segment, the, the camera quality of the two things, if anything, I would say I would give it to the Hero because of the wide view that it offers, um, and a little bit of advantage for DJI for being able to select the focus. But you're not gonna beat the quality that Hero puts into these cameras. Now you get a stabilizer and a gimbal. So, here's who should buy each one of these units. If you are not making money off of YouTube and, uh, you know, or not very much, and this is just a hobby for you, and you still want to go skiing and wakeboarding, and you want to go swimming, and whatever else you want to do, motor vlogging, whatever, this Karma is a better value because you'll be able to use it for much more and keep it in one little backpack and that's it. You can do vlogging, it's got its own microphone system, you're set. It's got a nice display on the back of the camera so that you can see everything. This should be the package for 85% of people. The other people that are really into drones or you make a good living on videography or YouTube videos, this DJI Mavic Pro is your baby, all right? If you don't, if you're more like me and you don't make very much on your videos and an extra camera is really valuable and a little kit to carry everything in is really valuable, then absolutely go for the Hero Karma. You're not gonna notice that much difference in the drones. The practicality of just having one little kit and being able to use that camera when you're not using the drone is huge. It's way more than you expect, guys. So if you don't agree with me, please comment down below, or if you do and you wanna support me, that's good too. But remember, please guys, share, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be a friend to you if you're a friend to me. This is Sixes Overdrive, and I'm saying bye-bye.